Person, I'm just going to the sex dungeon. Gareth's off to a sexual dungeon now. The dungeon of sex. He fills the, the glasses. Sexual dungeon. Fills the glasses of beverage while he sits on his own. Dungeon of sexual disgusting pleasures. Man. Don't pick. Do you ever have a foot wand? No, that's one thing I've never had. That's a big fucking fetish, isn't it? Well, it is. Do you, do you think it would be nice? Well, it depends how I mean, the girl is doing it. If they've, yeah, like, if, if, if they've got big pig's trotters and fucking... You know, they don't if know the toes are, are more astute than the hands, then it's great, but there's people who just like to say feet. Anyone. They're just sweaty, horrible things. Have you ever seen a woman or a man with nice looking feet? They have feet are horrible, they're aren't they? Oh, oh, like they're, they're not very nice. I think they're foul. And it, men and women have really hairy toes. Mate, teleporting. Looks like Omar. Do you feel guilty about what you said about Omar the other day? What you said about Omar? I didn't say how. You said she had big, jerky piss flash. I said she had crusty piss flash. Just because she's 70 doesn't mean she can't lubricate herself. <laughs> I think she is. I think she's 70 and I think she has an extremely gushing fanny. God, the hiccups. Oh God, that giant! My friends, pass it over to me. Don't oh, go guard that joint, my friend. Doing well. This Japanese comes about 6,000 miles ahead of us all. Just like the other one. Ah, oh, failed badly. Gun at the grassy like. Ah, oh, fuck you, off! Fuck it up. The end of his star, bro. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the end of the your end star. End of my and dummy, bro. Oh, God. Failed horrifically. Who's your favourite player in the England team? Good one. Um, that's, a, that's a good one answer. There we go. That's a very good. Uh... Do you know why Rio Ferdinand? Oh, alright, alright, we've got enough time. Um, Do you know why Rio. Oh! Rio... Do you know why Rio Ferdinand's called Cunt? Because he's a cunt. No. Oh, 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 I forgot the joke. Favourite player? Oh, did I come tenth? You did, and I, I came I thought I came all third there. Oh, you were shit. <laughs> God, what's going on? Um, that's, I don't know. Aaron might be joining us for the last 20 minutes. Oh, go on, you can reply to him. Um, favourite England player at the moment? I really don't know. There's, I don't particularly rate anyone really that much. Um, Roll another one. Ruffle. Is that him there? Who? Ruffle? No, him there. I don't know. Get on the pad. Yep. Hey, He's in. It's Aaron! Aaron, my boy! You'll struggle to beat me um, as a drift like baby character. <laughs> Go, Aaron! You'll have to beat that strangely faced Japanese player. I think you can do it because he's. Mankind, bro. 
Are you drunk yet? I, well, a little bit. I don't know as far as I have been in the past. I think that's why you're doing well. I'm three sheep to the wind. Maybe it's that cheesy password I ate earlier is absorbing it. Well, well I haven't said that. I've shat most of it out of the toilet. Or out the arse of the toilet. I'd like a big thick line of cocaine that sort of out. I'd be brilliant playing this game on there. On the old You're a terrible man. What? I'd be brilliant because... It looks a bad thing. Oh, Alright, so just the thing you like, good. Mushrooms are totally natural, bro. <laughs> oh. And I missed it. Being third, why am I so shy today? <laughs> I don't know. I've got terrible problems. <laughs> oh, fuck a duck. For everyone who like to understand what's going on. Gasmeister's controlling D. Yeah, we're the Dean Wee's controlling the gas master general. What? What the fuck's going on? It's Dean Wee! When you were at school, did you like, you used to like the look of girls' skirts? Yes. What was your favourite colour underpants? White. I don't know why. It's the kind of virginal effect. What was your hope when they were all but here? You, but well, at that time, you didn't really understand that about the virginal effect, did you? You know, was it the so just white, white was your favourite colour. I don't know what it was. I, just, I think it was the. Um, was that because yours were, were white but be foul brown? No, I think. <laughs> I think it was because um, it was a nice contrast between the skirt. And the um, next was all the darks, oh, the grey or dark blue or whatever it was. I think that's what it was. Like a rabbit's tail. You can really see those gussets, boo. Did you ever see a little bit of labia pop out? No, never. Really? Labial <laughs> happenings were very <laughs> regular for me. The little was. The crotchless panties all over the paper, my skin. Dean Wee, what the fuck's going on? Am I only eleven? Yeah, I, I honestly don't know what is going on. Don't. I've beaten you so many times tonight, <laughs> it's unreal. You'll enjoy watching these cunts back. I won't. Fuck me, man, I'll Dean Wee. I'll be putting a post-it note on uh, your my, my side, actually. Aaron's going to be thinking, what the fuck are you going to be seeing? I'm playing as Amy um, FX Twin and Gareth's playing as Dean Wee. <laughs> If you're wondering what's going on. It was Dean Ween. My boy. Jesus. I, I wish I could give it the fucking speech. Right, I'm going to... Right, here we go. What? This is a public broadcast announcement from the Can BBC. No. Dean Ween is now going to try really hard. Oh. He's been just dicking around, talking about... Anuses, labias, but now it is time to shine. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Yo. Right, well, there you go. That was a BBC public announcement. And if it's a BBC public announcement, it's true. So therefore, Dean Ween has to try his hardest now. All right, come on. <laughs> no, anything less than second place. The shite, right? It's Dean Ween! And if I beat you on this course, you uh, definitely retire in Mario Kart 8. 100%. I don't know, I've, I've been close a few now, right? Come on. Right, I'm, I'm focused. Oh, the screen's ahead. Yeah. A filthy fucking dirty beast. You went ahead of me already. If you beat me here, I'm gonna suck the semen out of your balls, but not just for pleasure. Oh, Aaron fell off? What the fuck? Look at the FX in first. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to beat you. It son. was Dean Wee. You motherfucking bro! <laughs> I'm 
silent. It's gone silent because the. It's Dewey! Oh, I'm fucked now. Oh, I'm fucked now. Right, you should. What's this now, Dean? Well, I should, but. Look at my combo, bro! He's behind you. Oh, no. Piss off! Piss off! Kill him! Kill him all! Ah! He was chomping away like a big beast! He's in first! He was chomping your belly, bro! I'm just gonna try and snipe him with this. Go on, Aaron, kick his ass! Fuck off! Don't support the Midlanders! Oh, fucked up. Right, well, it was Dean! Absolutely flanged up here. What a pile of pig for cuncock. I can't even win one race when I concentrate. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. 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 That noise is the noise of redemption. Gazmeister going to his sexual dungeon. He has to plough through befouled underpants. Disgusting shite street dildos. Horrible, horrible befouled blown up dolls. And the stench of his own misery. You have drank over a litre of famous grouse. Half a litre. Half a litre, right? I haven't drank a full litre, fuck's sake. <laughs> that would be disgusting. Has been about three hours, half a litre. Jesus. I never had a tin of lager. Which you didn't even finish. Bro. I only left a, a tiny... Oh, well, well, no. Fucking hell, man. I'll pour it into my whips. <laughs> Yay! S despite my homosexual lips having made it. It has own. Dean Weens. Homosexual <laughs> lips. I'm concentrating again. Let's beat <sighs> our own. So. Concentrate, bro. Oh, bro! Come on, you bro! Oh, he's took me box. Everyone was saying he was um, sacrificing playing Mario Kart for watching the Welsh match. Do his Welsh or a brummy? They both have ludicrous accents. Is he going? Uh, Looky good race. Are you looking forward to all the same pet DVD that I've been? Yeah, yeah. Fucking brilliant. Can you drop play? What's your favourite I'll leave this out pet moment? Tidy boy. Um Sex is in its infancy in Gates head. I still think that's the best one yet. When they've been the first episode when they've been the brothel. Johnny Giles leads an era. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, it was the boss of the bummy grammy. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Mm. <laughs> the Johnny I Mafia. I won't slip with a, <laughs> an older woman. Look like Billy Bremner. Remember well, that's the Moxie uh, moment? Yeah, there's too many fucking things to call. Hey! London! <laughs> Did you throw that? You don't call me fucking off! <laughs> I am just asking you, like, where's never a... <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Aaron's half a lap ahead. Oh, it's always... I always get the lightning over fucking... The jumps are... Oh, Christ almighty. <laughs> Aaron probably speaks a bit like, um, what's he called? No. <laughs> Barry. Buddy oh, Taylor. Considering he's a fucking um, East Ender or something, isn't he? Buddy, Buddy Taylor. 
I was watching the old Spenders on YouTube the other night, and he's in this. Uh, but actually, all of them are in it. They have guest appearances. Um, Barry's a prisoner. When Spender goes in to infiltrate the prison or something. Um, Moxie's a on the run criminal in Newcastle from Bristol. He has a Bristol. He has a Ellie accent. <laughs> I watched all, all the, they're all on YouTube, I watched them all, I was a bit disappointed. I can remember them being home when I was younger, sort of 12, 13, spend it. I never watched it. And I remember my mum watching them and my stepdad at the time, but I was just obviously not interested. I remember my sister being in Newcastle shopping near the Mayfair and uh, they were recording there. Oh, right. Like, um, and uh, she was pushing me niece, my well, niche, my niece, who was uh, obviously a baby. <laughs> she was time. a niche niece. And Jimmy Neal went over and picked her up and gave her a bottle. Oh. So I don't know, it's all a bit weird. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, he was acting like, I mean, apparently spent it really well. It had good views in it. It's tight compared to the He toned it down too much and spent it. Well, he tried to become a serious actor, didn't he? Apparently turned into a complete arsehole. Although th that happened in the second series of, of OV St. Pep. He started telling the director what he was doing and stuff. Well, it's when somebody realised he the star of the show. I remember seeing a documentary on OV St. Pep and they all said that was the part every single one wanted. We all, obviously, the majority of yeah, the Oz. Do you know that he just um, auditioned for a sort of extra, um, like an extra part, yeah? Right. Second like train spun. Oh my dude. Are you a fan of that film? Yeah? Uh -huh. Who are you going to say, like? Who what? Robert Carlyle or something? No, or? Um, you and Bremner. Well, it was a stage show for like a year before it was yeah. considered to be made into a film. You and Bremner was um, just reading all the time. Alright. So when it came to the, the, the filming, he gave Danny Boyle the responsibility of um, being director. Yeah. And Ewan Bremen just assumed he was going to get the, the job as uh, Brent, but Danny Boyle had different ideas. Ewan, uh, Ewan McGregor came in. And Ewan Bremen had to become Spud and wasn't very pleased about it. Do you think it worked out alright? Well, it worked out brilliantly. I was going to say, I, th I think so as well. The thing is, I've read the books and... Because um, he is spun to me. Well, I'm an obsessive Irvin Mills fan. Oh. In reading the books, the only character who is exactly like the person in the book is Ewan Bremner as Spud. Right. So, although he wasn't happy not getting the main part, Work out brilliantly as far as I'm concerned. How oh, did you think about that book that I've got thingy for you on eBay? I, I, can you remember? What was that? I'm absolutely fucking hammered. Do you remember, man? You asked me to bid for a book on you. Oh, yeah. Like, for your on um, eBay. Labor you artist. Was it good? Yeah, it was excellent. Was it? Have you, yeah. What have you done with that book then? Have you sold it all? No, I'll be keeping that. I was going to see you should keep those because those. I've got the good. last two books as kind of pre orders. Aaron's fucking hammering us here. Hey, when you. Howie Howie well, hang on, we knew it was going to happen. But no. I don't know, I have to know, right? Like, we need to do better. Considering this right, is the third video of Saturday night. And whenever it's the third video of a Saturday night, I'm normally sh fucking. I'm shit first. I'm, well, I'm normally driving around like I'm off my tits. I, I did not race mind. Driving into walls and everything. You're far soberer than me. Well, I don't know. Not by that race. The previous ones, yes. <sighs> so that one, I was fucking driving into walls of the lot. Right. Yeah. Let's pick a <laughs> blah, 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 blah. A simple course. Well, you pick poo poo medals. Oh. God, we're being whipped. He's picked a shake by a gorilla, bro. <sighs> right. We've talked too much sensibleness now. Right, let's get back on the fannies. Oh, Cowtop Cruise, yo! You like this one, don't you? Um, yeah, yeah. As, as a drift character, I, I guess. <laughs> God. <sighs> <laughs> I 
I think I'm at the same point as I was three full episodes ago. What the hell's going on? Who's your favourite female chef? Um, quite like Rachel Allen. I can always imagine there. Uh, Is that to do with how she looks or how she feels? Do you know Rachel Allen? Uh, Allen? The Irish chef, I don't know who she is. Not just her accent, I can imagine her going. Oh, I love it. Well, I was hoping you would base it on who was a good chef. Not just who had the best dinner done there. <laughs> Why would you think that I would be, give a sensible to the No, I mean... You want to st stuff your cock between tits? It's Nigella. Of course it is. You want a bit of class? Rachel Allen. You want a bit of Granny's oysters? Dahlia. It's as simple as that. I don't like Delia. I think Delia will take it right in the back. Delia. You know that disgusted look she has in her face all the time? Like, as if somebody's farted just under her nose. Where are you? Come on! <laughs> but she does, she kind of looks disgusted by she her. She's like cool and mustard rubbed on her fucking sink there. That's. That's kind of. Glass. That's hiding the fact that she. She really loves dung funnel penetration. Would you feel your Delia? Where are you? Let's be having you! <laughs> Fuck me, yeah, that was so embarrassing. Oh, Aaron's gonna beat us again. Oh, fuck off. Fire hop and I had the fucking star ball! And I didn't use it though! I've been, I've been crushed by Wario. <laughs> There's Aaron gonna crush us again. Ooh, God, he's took me box. You love to be crushed by a Wario move. Absolute beast of the... Uh, He's so nice to us on Skype, and then he's fucking beats us like hey, He's not being horrible to us now, he's plays better. Is it all uh, going on, Maestro General? It's all going on. Holy oh, fuck, I didn't want that. Well, it was a good start to this video for me, and now it's descending into shakes. I'm just talking about Delia Smith's shit tube. You know with uh, Nigella Lawson, you know she cooks endless kind of varieties of fatty food. Yep. Obviously you, you fantasise about doing it with the turd pipe. Definitely. You don't worry, it's going to be a bit slimy. Nah. With Nigella it's got to be. There's no doubt about it. Well, I'd give her an anal douche before I did anything. Well, I don't think I'll even get it up for the sides. Nah, I think no, there'll be so much lard it'll stick to the I'd sides. I'd use hot water. Hot soapy water and I'll just shove it up then. Would you, would you not like a bit of um, Nigella's cooking on your belly? Well, having said that, you know, her shit probably tastes quite nice because there'll be a lot of undigested oh, yeah. fatty belly pork. What else does she cook? Lamb. Yeah. Um, Tagines. Yeah. Tajini stuff. So I think there was Nigella bites, wasn't there? Nigella Well, that's what you call it. Yeah. That's no Nigella bites or little chits that come out. Mm, Nigella bites. I'd dine on a feces in lieu of real food. No. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I hate this course. I knew a, a lad when I went to school. And um, his motto was, I'd eat dog shit for five pounds. What? Yeah. And, and did it, he ever do it? Yeah. Oh. If you give him five what? pounds. Did you see him do it? Yeah. Oh my God. If you give him five pounds, he would eat dog shit. What? So what's, your, what's your limitation? What, for dog shit? Yeah. What would you charge per... Her be found. I can't even fucking <laughs> think about it. Five pounds? What the yeah. fuck is wrong with him? It's called Richard Brown. Oh fuck, I found that. I was in first there for a, a split second. Yeah, he went to Brown Town already, didn't he? Oh, damn bastard. So what would you say for a, a, a good length of dog dirty spine? Oh, we're talking uh, firm length. Yeah, we're, 
we'll go firm. So we're talking like a normal, like... A, a, just a, a normal dog befalmer. A dog chod. Yeah. Um, but you know, you're looking at somebody who's saturated the market with a five pound uh, figure, so... Well, exactly so you don't want to price yourself out of this. Well, You've got competition. I want to do it for less than Well, a grand. Nah. For a nice stool. No, I thought I could. What if you've been on premium dog food, not just. Um... Well, why don't we twist this and ask you, seeing as you what? always ask me these things? <laughs> How much would you charge to do it? Well, I, I will think about this seriously. No, you do it now. No, I'm going to. Right, because it's only you asking me. I'm and then, hey. You dirty bastard! <laughs> you would eat a dog toad for that. I'm going to think about this seriously and give you then. give you a real answer. I think I'll eat a, a dog still for about five hundred quid. Uh, what? What? Now, sorry, I couldn't even do it for a thousand pound. Yeah, but think of all the good things you could buy for five hundred now. Well, I don't I care. A, I could buy about twenty pro controllers, then cost yeah. a fucking lot of them. And then be known as the person who ate a dog shit. Yeah, but I don't care. You would fucking care, me. I wouldn't. You would. If you, if you said to me, ah, ah, ha, 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 you've eaten a dog's fowl, and I would just say, I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't say I couldn't give a shit because I just have. Into me move. Oh, I would run again. He doesn't tell we're, we're talking about uh, befoulment of dogs. I reckon for me. Considering you're a fairly fake Five man. grand. It would have to be five grand. I'm not, I'm not being funny. It would have to be five thousand pounds. But all four thousand five hundred. For me, need a full dog turd. <laughs> this, this is something else I was thinking about the other day. How much do you eat rabbit shit? Rabbit shit. One I, pellet of rabbit one, shit. One pellet. I'd do that for probably fifty quid. Fiver. Nah, nah. I couldn't do it for a fiver. No way. Here's something, Meister. Fifty I was, quid. You know, we were, we were planning on kind of. Um, uh, I was planning on thinking of funny things to talk about in the video. Well, I'd, I have just spontaneously thought about something. Oh, yeah. My mate used to... This is one of my um, slightly dim-witted mates. He used to always say he was obsessed with Kylie Minogue. And he always used to say, I'd eat Kylie shit. But then we used to have the discussion of, would it have to be freshly delivered from the bowel? Hot. Or could it be... Kind of posted from Australia in a box in dried form. I prefer to eat it posted in a box dry form. Really? That would yeah, you have, that would you like a texture? Yeah, but it's from Kylie's ass. That's the whole appeal of the thing. It's from Kylie's bumhole and bowel. Okay. I think I'd prefer freshly delivered. No, I'd rather eat it um, old and dried out. Would you dry it out and smoke it? No. Well. Where the fuck am I going? I think my controller's broke. I actually don't know what's going on. Oh. <laughs> I've just remembered I'm on a drift bike. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm you trying to fire up. You lunatic. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to outward drift it and then fire up. Oh, fuck it. Oh, it's been bad. I think Cowley, Cowley's... Uh, Fake arrangement. Bible <laughs> No, I couldn't. I couldn't eat the freshly squeezed out chocolate. Would candy. you smoke one though? If, if it was dried enough? Would you like? No. You wouldn't like to have a little smoke of Kylie's shine. No. Nothing. Why would I? I don't know. Like to eat brown high. Jesus Christ, what is going on? <laughs> Who's the uh, foulage would you rather eat, Kylie or Danny? Kylie. Is that, is that a flavour preference or...? I think Kylie's would taste sweeter. Why? I don't know, I just do. Jason Donovan's spunk's been up there. Oh, that was a long time ago. Especially, I think we should do especially for you. 
Shall I start? Especially for you I wanna tell you I've been feeling that way too If dreams are wings, I would have flown <laughs> to you Nah, I can't remember it You were in my heart No matter where you are I'll be for you, girl I would have flown to you, especially for you. Do you want to know something? I want to circle fire <laughs> directly Andrew. from thy bowels. What? I need a... Yeah. <laughs> I need... <laughs> he needs another log. <laughs> Hope he's not log. I'm going to have to I'm sorry. I need another shit. Especially for you Gareth needs another disgusting poo He'll sit on the toilet and wonder about you Do you think about him sitting on the pod? He's a foul beastly man and he's got a small cock But he loves it the same Especially for Pooh He's having a disgusting dirt As we speak now with you It's logs and piss and wee and dirt and poo He's pulled down his pants He's groaning really hard It's not an easy motion Especially for Pooh Gareth's bowels are an abomination too There's nothing worse in this whole Earth and them They are barely foul He needs a trowel Just to wipe his own bum hole Especially for poo Gareth's asshole Is worse than London Zoo Hey! Hey! It's been we 